Good morning, hope you're well today. It's the start of a new week, so here I am with your bite-sized word to start you off this morning. Um, I'm reading from Psalm 118. I've been spending a lot of time in the book of Psalms lately, finding a lot of refreshing and encouragement and um, feeding myself with, with the word about the character of God, who He is. But I notice in Psalm 118 that there's a lot of talking going on. Um, it starts up saying, I give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. I mean, what better reason is there to give thanks to God? His mercy endures forever and He is good. And then it says, let Israel now say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now say, His mercy endures forever. And I think it's very important for you and I. Um, I mean, you know what it's like. You get up in the morning, you might be irritated by something. Maybe you didn't have a good night. Maybe you've got a day ahead of you that you have some difficult decisions to make or some things that you know you're going to face. And m many times it's easier to talk about the problems than to talk about how good God is, how blessed you are, um, what we already have, what we're trusting Him for. And it's it's easy to talk about what we can see in the natural, or how we feel. And so for, for us to change that way of speech in the morning um, and to do what it says here, I give thanks to the Lord for He is good, His mercy endures forever. It becomes a, a choice, a discipline that we have to do and we have to be consistent in that. Um, I'm sitting in my garden again, so there's a bit of traffic this morning. Um, so to change that is quite difficult for a lot of people, but once we become consistent in that, and instead of complaining or, or talking about what it is uh, that we're going through, we start our Friday talking about how good God is and what He has already done. And then it says in verse 5 of Psalm 118, I called on the Lord in distress. There is a a change uh, from from being said uh, say this now the Lord is good is his mercy endures forever and then it says I called on the Lord in distress you know what happens with you and I and we all fall into this trap it's easier to talk about the problems than we, we do this without consciously doing this we talk about the problems instead of talking to God about the problem you know what I'm saying so we in here it says I called on the Lord in distress maybe today you feel in distress and you find it difficult to say God is good his mercy endures forever because you want to see your prayers answered you want to see the breakthrough come you want to see the deliverance or the provision come but instead of talking about what needs to be done go to God and say God I'm calling on you now in my time of distress and then it says the Lord answered me and set me in a broad place um, you know when we call on God and we say, God, we need your help. This is what you promised me. We remind him of what the word says. And he answers us. It sets us in a broad place. We come out of this place of, you know, I call it a place of limitation or restriction. When all we see are the problems and that's all that comes out of our mouth. It's all we talk about. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving around quite a lot. Um, but when we can begin, we call on God and he answers us. He sets us in this broad place of faith where we begin to believe him. Even though we, we don't have it yet, the victory is on the inside and we begin to believe that what he promised us he's going to do because he is good and his mercy endures forever. Then when we get the victory on the inside because we stopped talking about the problem, we've gone to him and we've called on him and we've heard an answer. Maybe you found a scripture, maybe you had, had a dream, maybe somebody prayed for you and you got the answer that you've been waiting for. And then... He sets us in this place where we say, now I have an expectation. I'm out of this place of restriction or limitation. And he set me in a broad place where I can begin to look at the scriptures and say, oh, that's possible because God is good and his mercy endures forever. Then our language changes. And there's a, psalm in, uh, there's a scripture in Psalm 68 that says, the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. It's also about talking. And so when you get the word, when you hear what God is saying, you don't have to hear an audible voice, but you read a scripture. God reminds you of something he's promised you before. And then you join that great company of those who begin to proclaim the promises of God. Now I've got another scripture here. Uh, it's also in Psalm, Psalm 5, that I found this is so, so interesting. 
Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, um, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you and I will look up. So that's my encouragement for you today. If you, the problems are too big, you can't find, it's not easy for you to say the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. Go to Psalm 5 and begin to say, God, hear my words. I know that God hears me when I pray. I know that He considers my meditation. And my meditation is, um, there's, a, there's a, a translation here in the little sideline uh, of my Bible. And it says groaning. Have you ever felt that? <laughs> you get up in the morning, all you want to do is groan. And it's not because you're irritable. It's because you really need breakthrough today. And so I'm trusting for you today that you will be able to come to the place where you say, God, I know you've heard my words. I know you, you, you hear that I'm groaning inwardly, but you want me to have the breakthrough on the inside. You want me to say, God, you are good and your mercy endures forever. You want me to be part of that great company who proclaims the word of the Lord that he has given to you today. So I pray that you will come to the place in Psalm 5 verse 3. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you and I will look up. I pray today for an anointing and empowering the grace of God, the goodness of God that helps you, enables you to be able to look up. Not see the problems that you can't get through on your own but to see the faithfulness of God in the situation that you will be able to proclaim his faithfulness his goodness and his mercy in your life today I pray that for you today be, be very encouraged today because God is good and he wants you to say what he says not say what you see but say what he sees his perspective be encouraged with that today